Hello? Alright, sorry about that. Welcome to another video, guys. I really appreciate you guys uh, leaving comments on the last video. really means a lot. I know I'm a little bit late on this one. Uh, late by like a couple days or so. Um, I say a couple days, but it's been like at least 10. <laughs> or like, I think, 7. It's been more than a week. But uh, your boy told you guys to leave some comments in the uh, video you know comment section obviously uh for like motivational motivational uh day so i got some of you it was also just like a topics kind of thing so like you guys can talk about like whatever topic or want to hear what i have to say about whatever topic as well um so <sighs> bro scratch this Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Mario Kart while I talk about the topics that you guys left me in the comments for my new idea slash, uh, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what I was trying to say. But uh, anyway, I am going to be talking about the things that you guys wanted me to talk about just so we can get another uh, insider and... Uh, <sighs> Another insider, another um, uh, perspective per se, or like you know how how I feel about certain things. You know, I felt like this was a opportunity for us to get closer, possibly. That way, you can get to know me a little bit more, and I can get to know how you guys feel about certain things too. And uh, I can also motivate you sometimes. So I think this is like a you know two for one kind of deal or special kind of thing. Uh, I should really go to Grand Prix now that I think about it, because your boy hasn't even beat Grand, Grand Prix, like, uh, for anything, see? <laughs> so I guess I should do that. Um, anyway, uh, so, you guys left me some comments, so I'm gonna go through them. Uh, they should pop up on the screen if I did a good job editing, or if I am gonna do a good job editing. I hope so, Future Bumbo, please do that for me. Uh, don't make me look like a bum or scrub. Uh, so anyway, here we go. So, first comment is from Alvin, and he says, First, <laughs> thank you so much, uh, for the support, uh, on the, um, on the video. Like, seriously, just commenting first, you know, leaving a comment, like, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be, like, anything huge or anything, like, you know, like, Oh my gosh, I love all your content, blah, blah, blah. Just showing that you saw, and then, like, you saw the notification, you clicked on the video, and then you decided to say first, or, like, you know, you decide to comment something else, also helps me out, too, because then it's like, okay, you know, like, it it shows that people are interacting with my video. Also, leaving a like helps a whole lot, so thank you again uh, so much for saying first. Uh, I know some of you guys are like, what? It's that easy? Or, like, uh... I can't believe he's putting this in the video like how lame you know like I thought we were here to talk about topics and stuff and it's like I'll get to it eventually you know again just interacting with the video does help me out a lot like no joke so again thank you Alvin for uh saying first all right all right now we should be getting on to the second comment which I think is from epic wizard uh he's saying why you always play in Rocket League in these kind of videos? Uh, when I play Rocket League, my brain goes, like, numb. Does that make sense? Like, I don't pay attention to, like, what I'm playing. I just play, and then it, like, happens. Or, like, I can talk about anything. Just like, you know, Mario Kart is the same effect, I, I should say. Like, it's, uh, like, I can literally just play the game and not have to, like, think too hard. And like, you know, that Rocket League is another game for me like that. That's why I'm mostly playing like Rocket League whenever I'm like talking because it's like cheap entertainment for me as well. That's how I view it because I'm like, okay, I can stay focused and also talk about something like it's no big deal. You know, that's why I mostly play uh, Rocket League in these videos. But since you said something, I'm playing Mario Kart in this one because... Uh, again, Mario Kart's uh, one of those games, too, where I don't have to think too much. Um, alright, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, let's move on to the next comment saying, Would you rather 
be rich but die at 35 or be poor but live until 80 um your boy would probably be i don't know i feel like 30 isn't like a full life experience well i i don't know i feel like that's a weird thing to say to be honest like a full life experience I, like you know some people don't even make it to like 12 sometimes but like um i think personally i'd want to live to like where i'm 80 because i want to see things change i want to see like you know my children grow up i want to see you know a whole bunch of stuff you know like i want to see my brother have children you know like i want to see a whole bunch of change like i want to see life you know like life advance you know i feel like that's so cool so to be honest with you i'd rather be poor and live to 80 like being rich and then dying at 35 i feel like you you could do like you could have done so much more i mean yeah you have the funds and whatever but like you're only gonna see a couple more years and then it's like gonna be over you're not gonna see life change you're not gonna see like stuff advance you're not gonna see like the next couple pres you're not gonna see like history that much and i feel like that's the part that's fun about it like uh, I remember back in like 2016 where it was like Cubs win the World Series, Cubs win the World Series. You know, like I stayed up pretty late for that game, knowing I had stuff to do in the morning, or I think I had school the next day. Like I straight up was like, I need to see this game. There's something was happening, bro. Or like the fact that my graduating class voted for Harambe, bro. Like that that's gonna be a part of history that's gonna be something i remember you know it's gonna be like where were you when this happened or like you know like eh, it's it's fun but it's like bro <laughs> it gives you something to talk about you know what i mean like it's it's interesting i like that kind of stuff you know so that's why it's like cool all right so let me just uh move on to the next question or comment as well but thank you for that one uh corn dog really appreciate that um talk about racial minorities and slash or lgbtq representation in modern animation or animation in general and how to do it right um okay so this is a very interesting topic for me because um some people get offended by uh this topic slash idea so the reason why if you guys are like why is it such a big deal whenever you know there's a black animation character or like you know a hispanic character or like you know why is it always such a big deal let me try and put it as simple as possible for those that don't understand so if you don't understand imagine the whole world being one thing like all a specific thing like everybody was a baseball right and then when you see but you also know there's other things out there like you know a basketball a football you know a tennis ball you know but you're like okay baseballs I get it you know like everybody uses a baseball to play catch right but then it's like but what about the people that don't have a baseball what if they have a football what if they have a tennis ball you know what if they have you know a different kind of ball to play catch with you know that's that's the importance of it you know like it shows that not every not everybody has a baseball to play with you know like i can't play catch with a baseball if i don't have one you know so let me play catch with a tennis ball you know like just as good as a baseball and also doesn't hurt you know if i don't have a glove not everybody has a glove too you know that's the issue I was saying, I feel like I worded that wrong because I was saying like, uh, if ever if the whole world had like a specific baseball, like as a race, but like, you get what I'm saying, like you get the message, like, not everybody has a baseball to play catch with, like, so when you see something different like a tennis ball or a basketball, you know, because you can just toss a basketball, you know, you just it, but it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing if you think about it at the end of the day. It's a ball that you're playing with. The issue is that people are like saying that the other like 
sports balls are not balls and that's the issue that's the main issue because it's like what do you mean obviously they are like we we call them what they are you know like a tennis ball volleyball we call them all balls right so it's kind of annoying again when people are like that that can't be accurate because that that's not a baseball not every again not everybody can play catch with the same kind of ball so that's why like race and um you know different like representation is very important especially and you know the thing that bothers me the most too is that people also don't think about like religion and how that is affected as well like for example do you think jesus is white that's a very good question as well and you're probably like well yeah i see him all the time i see him in pictures i see him in this that and the you know the third but if you think about it even in the book of the writing or you know the writing it says like he's the color of what copper okay if he's the color of copper then why is he white and being represented as white don't you think that's a little unfair or not actual represent like accurate that's the issue that's the issue it's like why but that's the that's the way people see him is the problem like he's already viewed that way you know so like if we changed it now everybody's gonna be upset because that's not what they know that's not what they grew up with but again it's not accurate even in the book of the like even in the book like the bible itself it says that thing but it's kind of like uh don't you think that's a little messed up doesn't that make you think a little bit and I'm starting to notice like a lot of people are like saying or thinking that there's like they're having like an issue with characters being represented represented it you know what I'm saying <laughs> and it's kind of like it shouldn't be a problem it should it's just a small change to get things going in the right direction so where we can have like a peaceful future you know and not have problems about race or any of that again we all have the same blood all have the same flesh like we're like yeah we might not have the same type of blood but we all have blood like blood we bleed when we get cut you know like we're humans why are you treating other humans like they're not human you know like we're imagine if you were not treated like the way you're supposed to be treated you know that's that's an issue w wouldn't you want to be treated like a nice human being you know like you you need water you need food to survive so do we we're the same we're the same man just because we don't have all the same similarities doesn't mean we're that different like you can be very like you're one in a million one in a million or one in a billion one in a trillion like you're very unique you're you you're you man like you're different in that aspect but i have a heart just like you i have lungs just like you you know i have organ i have a brain just like you i think i breathe i do the same things just like you no need to treat me any different you know like let's be friends and not enemies you know and we don't always have to get along but as long as we respect each other you know that's what i'm saying <clears throat> now let me get to the lgbtq uh aspect of this question sorry i went on a tangent for the race thing because it's very important as well um but like love is love i believe in that like you can love like any way you want you know like i'm not gonna sit there and i'm not gonna judge you either like that's so unfair to be judged and you can't control that is the thing you know like just like i can't control my hair or my eye color like the way it came out like i had no control over that that also ties into race you know like i didn't ask to be born black or anything like that i love that i'm black hands down i like being me and you should like being you too always no matter what anybody says like being you 100 percent if you can't do that, then that's an issue. Like, actually sit down and ask yourself, why don't I like myself? Like, I like myself to an extent. Sometimes I do hate some things about myself, but everybody does. It's like, I wish I, I, I shoulda, coulda, woulda kind of thing, you know? Like, 
not a big deal. Like, just, and there's also people that love you. So if they love you and you kind of like you, then that's not so bad, you know? So, again, LGBTQ uh, representation in animation is very important too, especially since a lot of people are, you know, now coming out and, uh, you know, love is love. So it's very important to also get that representation because, you know, you, you don't want that kid that has like two dads or two moms to be like so confused and said and say like in cartoon like it, it's it's always moms and dads how come i'm different like how come i have a mom and a mom or a dad and a dad and you know like i feel like i'm so different that like the world hates me you know you don't want a kid to feel that that's weird you would never want a kid to feel that way you know what i mean so like why would you why would you you know not want them to be represented in the show you know like that's messed up don't like if you're represented just as much then allow other people to get represented you know like it's the same thing you want to relate to a character you know like everybody wants to relate to a character that's why people will put like what anime profile pictures because you relate to that anime character or cartoon character you know like everybody it's all about like the personal aspect you know like you you see yourself in this character everybody does that they reflect they like they see traits and reflections of themselves that they either like or dislike in people and that's why we're all about like who we choose and what we choose to represent us you know that's why it's so very important to have both and especially to do it right like i think miles morales is a pretty cool spider-man pretty cool spider-man hands down he's my favorite spider-man actually like, besides Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire was my favorite Spider-Man too, but that's because I grew up with him. But, like, people are like, well, don't be lazy on, like, how to represent a character. Like, don't make Peter Parker black. I think it could help. Like, it depends on how you do it. Like, if you make Peter Parker black, it can show how it, how people are represented, and it's still the same character that you love, just in a different you know environment slash atmosphere you know that kind of stuff so and it can it's like an eye opener it's just an eye opener to show that the world needs to change if you're having a problem with it ask a, ask why you're having a problem with it it's still the same character that you love you know it's just different you shouldn't have a problem with it is the thing it's just a little different if it was always the same wouldn't you get bored you know wouldn't you get tired of seeing the same thing you know what i'm saying so like it's good to have a little bit of change and different and representation it's very important all right i feel like i've been going on too long and i haven't been uh hitting it accurately but if you have more questions on it just please leave a comment on this video uh which reminds me please leave a comment guys uh for the next thing i should talk about you know for real i would really appreciate it if you guys need motivation or things to talk about please just leave it in the comments below and i will go over it next week <clears throat> Alright, let me move on to the next comment. Man still using the same intro from when I was in 7th grade, lol. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I have. <laughs> um, maybe it's time for another one, you know, so if any of you want to help me make like a new intro, I would really appreciate it, you know, we can use a new intro, maybe a different outro too, so it's up to you guys what you guys you know if you guys want to get creative I, I feel free i'll look at them i'll view them and i'll pick one you know so we can do it again so thank you again for saying that uh so cool all right next one yuki says happy early birthday thank you <laughs> yes uh the day i think a couple of days before when i dropped the video it was my it was gonna be like my birthday that weekend so yeah, I was really excited for that. So a lot has happened in between A and B. You know, I've been taking time to like learn and do some things as well. Working on some new music, which is good. So that's why I've been gone for a while. Haven't even uh, been streaming on like Twitch and stuff. So I'll I'll be back soon. Uh, I'll stream like here and there. I don't know what I'm gonna stream. I'm also running out of like Nintendo <laughs> Online. Uh, I forget that I have to renew that every time on my birthday because uh, that's when it came out. Isn't that crazy? Online came out on my birthday, and I was like, "No!" 
I didn't buy a Switch for this reason. You know, like when I first got the Switch in like 2017. Yeah, I think I got it in September 2017 or maybe it was that summer of 2017. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get a Switch. And then I did and free online, which was really cool. Uh, I got Splatoon, uh, Rocket League, you know, I got all the good games. Mario Kart, obviously. Um, and then I guess 2018 is when online came. I think it was like a, straight up a year after. And I was like, dang, bro, dang. But you win some, you lose some, but you get to play another day, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. All right, <laughs> next comment. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki, for your comment. All right, but the next one is Akume. Uh, she says, kicks the door open. Did I hear birthday? Happy early birthday, Bumbo. I hope you're doing well. Have a lovely day and take care. Thank you so much for the comment. See, comments like these, they're just interacting with the video. I really appreciate it because, like, I can just look at and, like, I can say thank you. You know, I can leave a heart, you know? Like, it shows that you guys care, and I really appreciate them. Um... Uh, yeah, it really means a lot, but I'm hoping for more comments on this video for like talking about topics and subjects You can even leave comments about stuff that I've talked about to show you to share your opinion and your point of view I'll read that as well And if you want me to talk about it in the next video leave like a thing in parentheses that says you can talk about this in your next video or just say talk like in the parentheses and I'll talk about it in my next video to share your point of view and then see if we're talking about the same thing if we're not talking about the same thing you know comments like those i appreciate because like it gets me talking more <clears throat> also you can ask for motivation you know any kind of uh comment i'll like respond to you know and i'll be open and honest about like most things for sure like if you guys are curious about like anything e even about me or like what i'm thinking just leave a comment it really helps uh, again, motivational videos. I want to do like a motivational Monday and maybe like a topic Tuesday. That way I can do like motive. Like if people need motivation on that Monday, I gotcha. Like I can leave a thing or I can make a video for it. Um, so I'll leave you with one motivational thing today that I saw uh, recently. <clears throat> and I added it to my Instagram story. If you aren't following my Instagram, please go follow my Instagram. It's Bumbo underscore game. So is my Twitter. If you guys want to go follow my Twitter too. Um, but let me go ahead and tell you guys the motivational thing. So Albert Einstein had to write his nine times table on the um, blackboard. And he got all but one correct. And his class started laughing at him. So he sat there and he waited. And he said, he sat there and he waited for them to stop laughing. <clears throat> and then he said, I got all of them correct, but the one. And you guys chose to laugh at me for the one mistake that I made instead of all the other ones that I got correct. Or praise me for the other ones that I got correct. That, that's it. that was his statement so when I said that to a couple of people some people were like huh that's crazy it is crazy that people laugh at your failures or they don't, they don't you're only judged by your failures instead of your successes sometimes and that's tragic and then when I told somebody else they said well that's just how the world is if you think that's how the world is, that's a problem because you can change the world as well. Like, we don't have to look at somebody's failures. We can acknowledge their accomplishments and praise them for it. You don't always have to look at the failures, especially like laughing at them. What if it were you up there? How would you feel? Put yourself in somebody else's shoes. That's tragic that you think that the world is like that, you know? Like, it's okay for now in quotes, but like, we can change that. It doesn't always have to be about the one failure, you know? Like, keep going. You mess up one time, so what? It's just one time. You, you can fix it. You can make it better. You learn from it, right? Keep going. Not hard. Not hard at all. So, I hope that helped. Um, cause that got me through the week, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, again, uh, just let me know 
whatever you guys need i got gotcha. you leave them in the comments really appreciate you and i'll see you guys in the next video sorry for talking your ear off <laughs> for a good like almost 25 minutes but hey i love you all i hope you have a great one and i'll see you guys in the next video all right love you guys